Alrighty, game day J back in the mix. Thank you guys for tuning in. You know what it is. Splatfest results. Team Sweater versus Team Socks. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. Let me know what team you were down below in the comments. And let me know how your team did. My team was doing horrible. I was playing um, toward midnight on the Friday. Um, and I always feel like my team doesn't do that well. Um, and I watch other people play. And um, they do better. They do better on Saturday. I need to start playing on Saturday. All right, first, let's see which team was the most popular. Let's find out. So basically, you get this helps your team win um, by popularity. It can help you swing the vote. So bada bada boom. I'm going to say, dang, sweater was more popular. It didn't feel like it. There's a lot of times where uh, we couldn't even find teams, but maybe people just got into the game late and played on Saturday. OK, team sweater won the um, overall. I don't know if it's just because it's Pearl. It probably is because it's Pearl. How about them apples? All right, let's. All right, all right, all right. Let's see the part that really matters. Yeah, popularity is in everything. Okay, so wins. Who won the most battles? Like, uh, I don't know. I feel like Sweater won because my teammates were doing some horrible stuff. Ah, destroyed. Good job, Team Sweater, man. You guys, you guys earned it. You guys earned it. You're kidding me. Wow. <laughs> Okay, y'all, it's time. The final results. Look at look at Marina. She looks kind of sad, doesn't she? All right, let's hear this rap from um, Pearl. I always love to hear this. Man, that was a straight body mint. That was a straight body mint. 3-0, and oh, man. They, we didn't even win popularity. They were just like, get that out of here, you know? Team Sweater be better. <laughs> Team Socks tried to make a bet, but bet. But, okay, okay, hold on. Team Socks tried to make a bet, but sweaters didn't break a sweat. Okay, so we played a we paid a debt to take a jet for making y'all vacant threats. Okay, <laughs> booyah. <laughs> okay, I deserve a raise. <laughs> Marina, if you participated in Splatfest, uh, your prizes are waiting you in the square. Ah, check it here. The current regular battle stages. Okay. All right, I'm gonna skip all this. I'll be right back. Okay, so if you reach king or queen and you lose, you get 21 shells. As long as you reach um, the certain um, rank in um, Splatfest, you get you get a certain amount of shells. Now, if we won, I think we would got like 26 or something. It's not too much more, but it's all good. Oh man, the maps have been updated. So basically, what you do? Hold on, do we gotta watch another another thing real quick. Please don't. Please don't. I just watched all your crap. Okay, there you go. So like I said before, up in the top right corner, there's purple seashells. It says I have 22 of them, because I already had one left over from, um, anytime you rank up from playing a rank mode, like you see my level in the, the green, it says level 46. If I were to reach level 47, you come talk to the cat, he'll have an uh, exclamation point above his head, and he'll give you a free um, shell. So every time you level up, make sure you come out here and talk to him, all right? So you go over here and you talk to, um, What's the spike? Merch? Okay, merch. It used to be spike. And what you want to do is um, increase slots. So you get use a seashell to increase a slot. Example, if I want to put another slot on this one, see how it has one question mark? I can add another one for it to be ranking up or leveling up. So you want to put them on the things that you're using a lot or things that you really like. Don't just start wasting them, I say. Like this is a pretty cool looking hat, so I'm gonna add one on here just for the heck of it. Just to show you guys. So now it has three slots and it can level up three different things. Um I guess there's a build there's an option to re-roll something. I don't know if I even want to waste a shell to do that. I don't I don't think that's a good idea. Like this right here, you could re-roll this the bottom three pieces. I'll just waste one to show you. So if I don't like what I what I got in the previous um ability or armors then you come in here you can do this you waste a shell doing it please give me something good ah, more garbage see the thing is about doing that you waste a shell doing that so I wouldn't I wouldn't do that and that's that's basically what what the shells are for is just to add slots in my opinion I would never re-roll I don't think it's worth it 
because you can just come in here and scrub the slots. You go to scrub slots and uh, what was the one we just got? Go in here and then we just spend 20,000. So if you didn't have 20,000, I don't. I think a shell's worth m way more than 20,000. And I don't like either of these um, abilities, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make it clean, start over again. Now I just gotta re-level it up by equipping it and wearing it in um, any match that I play. So that's what you do, people. That's what you do. And ability chunks. Um, you wanna get these up to, let's see. Let's say you have something that's almost a full ability like this one. You see how the bottom one has um, two of the ink resistance and this one has save, um, save special when you die. And I wanna make this a full, um, where is it? I wanna make this a full ink resistant um, at the bottom, all three. So I need four more chunks. And that's why you scrub out the um, armor pieces so you can make a full um, it's not up here, but hey, it's close enough. See, I got a lot of these things that are kind of close. You see what I mean? You just want a variety so you can put on different stuff depending on what armor or, or what level or what rank mode you're playing or what weapon you use. It all depends on what you actually use or your play style. See what I mean? Get your stuff leveled up. Don't waste your, don't waste your seashells, man. All right, people, I'm going to go ahead and call that a video. Um, good match, good matches. Um, I had horrible teammates, so I'm not surprised. It always happens like that for me these days. I'm always complaining. You guys have watched my last video. I'm just going off, but I, I warn you now. I warn you now. <laughs> so anyways, I'll catch you guys later. I'll catch you next Splatfest. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys have a good weekend. Happy holidays.